welcome back. It's your favorite spoiler from Movie Drilling. For more updates you can like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. In the sixth episode of Masters of the Air, Alessandra Westgate, a British military member whose rank subaltern finds difficult to speak and comprehend, rooms with Major Harry Crosby during his week-long visit to Oxford for lectures. Although Sandra never tells Crosby what she really does for a living, she grows to be a confidante during his grief at the passing of Captain Joseph Bubbles Payne, his best buddy. Together with the gregarious Westgate, Crosby enjoys his brief sojourn away from Thorpe Abbotts before heading back to resume his duties as the 100th's new group navigator. Major Harry Crosby's plot in Masters of the Air Episode 6 included a little but humorous element with his inability to pronounce the word subaltern. Crosby keeps mispronouncing the name of his roommate, Subaltern Westgate, even after the man welcoming him to Oxford mentions it. This leads to an awkward yet humorous exchange between the two men. When Crosby eventually gets to meet Sandra later on, he picks up the proper pronunciation of the word but Masters of the Air actually does a terrible job of explaining what a subaltern is and did during World War II. This translates to something like a first lieutenant or a second lieutenant in the U.S. Army. A subaltern is essentially a subordinate officer in general. In the British Auxiliary Territorial Service, women were frequently assigned the rank of subaltern or second subaltern. The women's division of the British Army did not receive official military ranks until the 1950s. In the British Army, a subaltern might work in any number of positions. Thus, delving into Sandra's rank doesn't actually reveal much about the nature of her unidentified profession. But given how abruptly she had to leave Oxford at the end of episode 6, it's probably safe to assume that her job is important enough and that she contributes significantly to it. It seems unclear that Sandra will be revisited in Masters of the Air's final three episodes, therefore further information regarding her role is unlikely to be provided. Subaltern Sandy Westgate was a real person, according to Major Harry Crosby's A Wing and a Prayer, whom Crosby met at Oxford in March 1944. She also represents the actual women who were British Auxiliary Territorial Service members. The British Army had an all-female unit called the ATS. Despite not carrying out the same tasks as the men in the British Army, the ATS played crucial roles in research, communication, and transportation. One of the smart ladies who fought in England during World War II is Sandra Westgate. In Episode 7, Sandra's mystery profession becomes increasingly apparent, despite her portrayal as Crosby's confidante and support system. Sandra won't answer Crosby's question about where she has been. In addition, the preview for the eighth episode of Masters of the Air features Sandra in perilous situations alongside German officers. All of this suggests that Sandra might be working as a British government spy. This reality wouldn't be that strange many women served in the Special Operations Executive during World War II, and it would also explain her secrecy in Masters of the Air. Thank you once again. At Movie Drilling, we provide you with everything you need to know. For more, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel.